to Jazz Tutorials. This is a back to basics tutorial if you're not familiar with what this is. Um, basically every Wednesday I do post a, a beginner's like tutorial and this week's video was a request video from somebody. Um, they sent me a video link to a video they had trouble understanding so I kind of recreated that in my own way. I didn't do exactly as they did because that would be copyright infringement and on this channel I like to keep stuff legit so I did kind of twist it a bit sort of kind of to make it my own. That way it's not like copyright infringement. But on the other hand, I cannot take full credit for this. I do give the other channel um, a thumbs up for that. Their attempt at doing a tutorial of this such, but they didn't have any vocal in their uh, video. They just had music and when you add music and speed up your whole tutorial, it's a disaster. So just keep in mind that when you're doing a tutorial, Try and talk to your people and go slow enough where they can understand you. And that's what I try and do here. Sometimes I do go a little too fast and confuse you, but I relatively try and keep it on the slow, easy side so you understand what I'm saying. So, what we're doing is we're doing a coloring type tutorial. We've done a bunch of these in the past, so if this is repetitive for you and you find out and you feel like it's too much the same, then you're free to go ahead and just, you know, click away. I don't judge. I don't judge you at all. But I do try and help everyone I can, so that's why this is being made. So, I hope this helps you out there. Um, if it doesn't, I'm sorry, but hopefully it does. So, let's get started and get going. So, I've opened a stock photo as clearly as you can see, and I'm going to now make a new layer above my stock photo. And immediately upon doing so, I'm going to change my layers blend mode to lighten. Lighten is going to be our best friend today, so make sure every layer you make is going to have the words lighten in the blend mode section. Alright, so with that now done, grab a soft round brush. Um, and the brush size depends upon your um, photo size. If your photo is relatively small, you could go for a 150 size brush, or you can go for maybe a 160. Um, if your canvas is very large, I would go maybe 200, 300. But again, it's all personal preference. However it works for you, works for me. Alright. Now, grab your color swatch and select a relatively bright color. Um, I'm choosing in green to start with, but you can choose any color you like. And then I'm just going to brush it on top of my lady. Now, you will have to alter the opacity because as you notice that is extremely bright and really kind of ruins the photo. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and alter my opacity just a tad, enough to have it stay colored but not too colored. So we're going to go with maybe like 70, 70, I like 70, 70 is a good range, it's not too bright and not too, you know, weird. Alright, then I'm going to make another new layer above that. And what I'm doing is I'm making each color on its own layer because in the event I make a mistake, I don't want to have to go ahead and erase things because once you start erasing on a main layer, you kind of may accidentally erase like a different part you don't want to erase. So by making each color on its own layer, you can easily just edit that one color and not the whole entire image and destroy it. Because redoing it will take you however long it took you to make it and I'd rather you not take that too much time. So. That's why. New layer. Alright, and again, lightens your blend mode, obviously. And then pick another color of such. I'm choosing a blue, because blue is awesome. And I'm going to go over here. And again, alter your opacity to whatever suits you. Um, I'm going to go with maybe like 60 this time, I think, because 60 looks really good to me. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Alright, and again, another new layer. Lighten. And I'm going to grab another color. Let's see, what should we choose? Let's go for a pinkish purple hue. I like pink and purple. They're pretty cool. They're pretty nifty. Alright, altering my opacity just a bit. Hmm, I like that. Alright, I'm going to add one more. Just because I can, and because I'm that cool. And, well, that's basically it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's how you colorize your photo using, um, Lighten and your opacity meter. So, um, 
yeah, that may have been repetitive for some of you. I, again, I apologize. I know I've made tutorials like this in the past, but I figured, hey, a YouTuber wants some help. That's what I'm here for, so here you go. Um, if this was at all any way in shape or form helpful to you, I would love to hit my like button. Um, if you want to see more of what I do, hit my subscribe button, because I do post videos twice a week. Um, Wednesdays are usually the back to basics beginners tutorials, so if you're a beginner, this is your day. Um, if you want to see more advanced type stuff or more like moderately posted tutorials, I post those on Saturday. I try and post on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but sometimes it gets mixed up when it's a, you know, Thursday or a Sunday or a Friday or something. But relatively, um, it's usually a Wednesday and Saturday posting on YouTube, so stay tuned for those. Um, and yeah, and uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, and if you really like me, please subscribe and like and comment. Um, I'm here to help, so if you have any questions, uh, inbox me, comment below anything. I'll be sure to help you out in some way. Thanks for watching. Bye! Yeah.